Yeah. So we got a question from one of our listeners, Snehal, and they ask, should I file my taxes even if I'm working illegally and I don't have a social security number? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's actually a great question, you know, because we're only a few weeks away from April 15th, tax day, you know, the deadline to file your federal income tax returns. Mm -hmm. Um, And there's a lot of misunderstanding and confusion about, you know, this question and taxes and all that. But the bottom line is anybody that receives income, regardless of your immigration status, has to file taxes depending on their filing status and income level. So you should speak to a tax professional about whether the amount of income you make requires you to file your taxes. But the simple answer is yes. Even if you're working illegally and you don't have a social security number, you are required to still file an income tax return. And it's interesting is that um, you don't need a social security number to file a tax return. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, mm-hmm. you need a social security number to work, of course, along with you know, other documents to complete the I-9 mm-hmm. um, employment eligibility form. But um, even if you're working under the table, getting cash, you, you still need to file a tax return because the law says that if you live in the U.S., whether legally or not, and you earn income here, you have to pay your taxes on that income, regardless of you know how the income was earned. So if you're an undocumented worker, illegal employment, you know you still need to file. So but for some, can... though, um, mm-hmm. Snehal, that might yes. raise a question: that would it trigger you know immigration um, uh, folks in the picture if you're sort of showing yourself as not legal and then you're you know filing taxes as well? So right, that's a great question actually, and. The um, IRS doesn't u- use this as any kind of enforcement tool. Like they don't send this information to immigration. You know, the the whole um, purpose behind filing a tax return is to facilitate a tax payment. They don't share this information with other agencies in the government. Um, so you can be rest assured that that information is confidential. But in order for you to file a return, you have to apply for an ITIN number, an individual taxpayer identification number. Uh-huh. So this is not a social security number. This is basically a tax processing number that the IRS will issue to allow immigrants who don't have social security numbers to file, um, to legally file your tax returns and claim the income you know, that you earn from, from working. Mm-hmm. And even if you are undocumented, yeah. no status, you can apply for an ITIN number. Mm-hmm. So you would, uh, you know, you would um, contact a tax professional. They would get some basic information, and the IRS will assign you a number for the purposes of filing that federal tax return. You know, in um, I believe it was in 1996, the IRS created this ITIN number so that individuals who are working were still able to pay their taxes. Mm-hmm. So important to okay. keep in mind, it doesn't, this ITIN doesn't provide, with, provide you with legal status. Mm-hmm. It doesn't allow you to work legally. It's not a work authorization. It is merely a tool to allow for the filing of your tax return. Mm-hmm. And you know, a lot of times people ask, well, why should I pay my taxes, right? Yeah. Well. Um, you should pay your taxes. It's it's you're showing good faith and you're complying with U.S. immigration laws because you know at some point if there is some type of comprehensive immigration report reform in the future, they're going to look at what you've been doing in the U.S. this whole time. They're going to look to see did you pay taxes? Mm-hmm. Are you a person of good moral character? Yeah. So it is important to have this history of paying your taxes because it's one way to show that you're complying with you know the IRS rules even though you may have been out of status yes. and you'll be surprised to know that there are many individuals out there who are undocumented that are um, that have ITN numbers and are paying taxes because they hope someday you know it will it will help them to become reflect legal. favorably on their case mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. absolutely and like I said once again um, the IRS is interested in getting um, you know, getting collecting income from taxes from your income. So yeah. that's what their their um, uh, goal is. Yeah. So it is important to do that. And then 
one last thing I want to mention is that we are not tax professionals. We are immigration attorneys, so you should speak to a tax professional for tax advice and you know what is the income threshold for you and whether or not you should file. So I want to make sure um, that I make that clear. We're not offering any kind of you know tax advice to individuals, but from an immigration standpoint, it is a good idea to file taxes. Um, you know, prior to the deadline, April 15th, because it could lead to possible immigration, a pathway in the future, um, mm -hmm. if you have this history. Yeah. Well, thank you for clarifying that, Snehal. And there you have it from the NPZ Law Group. Even if you're working illegally, you need to file your taxes. With a reputation for legal excellence and responsive client service, the business and family immigration law firm of the NPZ Law Group represents clients.